Before we begin, I just want to say a massive thank you to all you guys out there. The support over the summer has been crazy. We've like doubled our views from Tour Project just in the past two months. So a big thank you. I love you all. Extremely appreciative. Let's kick off another one. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 137 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. Now last week we had a special budget themed episode, and that was aimed to give you a better idea of a setup that you can build if you're on a budget, but this week we are back at it with some killer over the top setups as we usually do. And if you see anything you like, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start off episode 137. First up, we have Mitch here. This one is just screaming like sunshine to me. You know, got the Nana Leaf Aurora panels on the wall, lots of orange and yellow going on. But one thing I love right off the bat is like the highlights of white he has around his room, whether it's in the PC, the peripherals, or his monitors, really makes some of the gear in his room stand out. So speaking of which, he has two Samsung 1800R curved monitors at 32 inches a piece. These are also 1440p panels. They fit like a glove side by side, like literally a seamless connection here. And for his peripherals, we have the SteelSeries Rival 110 mouse, which is SteelSeries Apex 150 keyboard. And with their prism lighting, yes, it's all set to orange. Then as for audio, atop of this shelf, right above his setup, are his speakers, the Edifier R1550 dB, along with his headset there in the middle, the Bear Dynamic Custom One Pro headphones, got those in white. Then obviously, a shiz ton of these Nanoleaf Aurora panels. Hashtag RTP is the shiz. Then over off to the right side of his desk, chillin' is his PC. Inside here, this is the Corsair Crystal 460X case, is a Ryzen 5 1600X CPU with the Corsair H100i V2 AIO. Got 16 gigs of team group RAM on an Asus Strix B350F motherboard. And as for the GPU, the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580. Loving how everything inside looks nice and neat, even got some braided cables. And again here, going to that white and orange theme, which is just, you know, what your entire... Oh, just notice the Stormtrooper. <laughs> Sorry, a bit of an ADD moment there. But I'm loving this, a great choice of wallpaper as well. It'll correspond to your entire setup and having those two monitors seamlessly side by side like that with all those Nana Leaf Aurora panels just really takes it to the next level. Next up, holy moly, we got Cypher here with a triple monitor gaming setup that is taking the RGB times a hundred. This is a definite crazy gaming setup here. Even got some more of those Nana Leaf Aurora panels. Those are the uh, highlight of the day, it seems. But this is just crazy. Even got the mounted TV off to the right. Let's check it all out. So. All three of those monitors are the Asus ROG Swift PG278Q, 1ms response time, 165 hertz refresh rate with G-Sync built in. Wow, wow, that is some serious stuff. Now for the peripherals, we have the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB Rapid Fire Keyboard alongside the Corsair M65 Pro RGB Mouse. That's on the Corsair MM800 Polaris RGB Mouse Pad and the Elgato Stream Deck in the back, which ironically was also acquired by Corsair. And then off to the side for audio on his RGB headset stand from Corsair as well is the headset, the Astro A40TR, next side a long little buddy plant guy there. Now we gotta give him some cred because look at this cable management job underneath that desk. For everything going on in this setup, that is an extremely clean cable management job. But now we gotta check out the PC. Off to the right side is the NZXT S340 Elite case in white. Inside the Intel i7 7700K CPU with the NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. We have 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on the Asus Maximus 9 code motherboard and an Asus GTX 1070 ROG Strix graphics card. And of course the NZXT Hue Plus inside is gonna give his PC all that RGB goodness. Hey, I know that guy. Well, that was awkward, but what wasn't awkward is this killer setup. Again, Cypher Man, love the clean desktop. There's nothing out of place. Everything is so organized. Got it right by the window for some natural light and all the RGB. While pretty crazy, it's not, you know, overdoing it or obnoxious, I don't think. So good job on the tastefulness and the craziness. Now, continuing the trend of being the best of the best, showing off the best, Jablub here is returning yet again. We've had him on a few times with this custom desk PC going with like a Hello Kitty kind of style. I always love his projects, but taking a deeper look at this, that is an AOC 32 inch monitor going with the Cooler Master Master Keys Pro L RGB keyboard with the Cooler Master Master Mouse Pro L Mouse. Is that their naming technique? 
and he has the Creative Gigaworks T20 Series 2 speakers. But now it's time to just appreciate this DIY desk PC. Inside here is an Intel Core i7 7700K CPU on the ASRock Z270 Extreme 4 motherboard, 32 gigs of uh, HyperX Fury RAM with an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Founders Edition graphics card. And then I love for his hardline cooling job, he went with this kind of like pastel baby pink to go with that Hello Kitty theme. It all just looks so good and you could see just the dedication really that it must take to build something like this. Always insane. Like I said in the beginning, we've had him on before. Uh, definitely check out his Instagram, Jablub. I'll put it down below for you guys because this is just what he's doing all the time, making awesome stuff like this. And look at the cable management. It's all like within the desk itself. So just contained and organized. Loving Jablub stuff. That sounds so wrong, but it's true. And then we've got this following up. Oh my God. Spool, hit him with it. Oh my God. A crazy quadruple RGB setup to the max here. This is uh, this is nuts. Bogdan is making all our jaws drop. So we'll get to it all. Just give me a second. Uh, the primary monitor here is an LG 34 inch. He also has above that a 29 inch ultra wide with two 24 inches then mounted off to the left side there. And again, those are also LG. So all LG monitors. And if you're asking yourself why his RGB light strips are just so insane, um, all of his RGB light strips are addressable because they're hooked up to an Arduino controller, which he has there behind the monitors and behind the desk. So uh, yeah, he can control these like probably more than you can control your drooling right now. So for the peripherals, we have the Corsair Gaming K70 Lux RGB keyboard with the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse on a nice extended mouse pad. You can see his headset there for audio is the Astro A50s. Then a lot of extra gadgets here. You see like an extra uh, Xbox One controller, got the Nintendo Switch, and that little uh, Divoom Timebox mini clock there. Showed that off before. That's on a nice little desktop riser. And you can see that kind of funnel thing in the back there. That's actually a badass speaker. The Harman Kardon Aura speaker. And now, the PC. This is the Fantex P400S in white. Inside the Intel i7-8700K with the Corsair H100i V2 AIO cooler. Some Geel or Geel Super Loose, I don't know how you say that. RGB Sync RAM, 16 gigs by the way, on an Asus Prime Z370A motherboard. And then Asus GTX 1060 graphics card, that is their white dual edition. And of course the NZXT Hue Plus for all that crazy RGB with some Fantex Halos RGB fans. And are those like rocks in the middle? But all together, holy every curse word imaginable this is just insane even got the animated wallpapers here to kind of you know go along with the rgb because it's nice and colorful but this is just uh just everything crazy honestly just at a loss for words right now and you're probably thinking to yourself frank that's not a setup that's a tiny little closet well guess what you open that door and there is a gaming setup in that closet i don't want to hear people complaining anymore there's not enough room in their bedroom because this show is right here you put your mind to something and you can still have a crazy nice setup regardless of the space you have. Is it ideal? No, but damn it, he makes it work. Now for those displays, that's an Alienware 34 inch, 120 Hertz G-Sync, all the model numbers with that overhead being an Acer Predator 27 inch. Even though it's like a secondary display, it's still got G-Sync and it's a 144 Hertz panel. Down to its peripherals, we have the Corsair Gaming K95 Platinum RGB keyboard with some white keycaps. The mouse of choice is the Razer Basilisk on a nice extended mouse pad from Corsair. And the speakers he had mounted were the Edifier 530D. And then for his PC, this case is the Fractal Design Meshify C in white. Inside an Intel 8086K. I believe that's being cooled by one of those Noctua coolers with those uh, Chromax fan covers. Got 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an Asus Maximus 10 Hero motherboard. And for the graphics card, an Asus Strix GTX 1080 Ti OC with a Samsung Evo 1 terabyte NVMe M.2 storage. But damn, man, I'm liking this little closet. You pulled it together, got some stuff up on the walls for some personality, like some product boxes, some games. And all together, you made it work. He said on Reddit that with you know, the wife and kids, they were kind of running out of space, so he still wanted to have his very own dedicated space. So he did it in this closet. And damn, you made it work, my man. You made it work. Long live WEP.
All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 137 of Room Tour Project. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw. I have a list down there for you, as well as some simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you want to be possibly considered to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project, then check the links down below for it all. And again, guys, they're simple instructions. You would not believe how many times I get submissions that are just the opposite of what I ask for. So please read the, read the instructions, please. If you liked this episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.